Hey all you indie YouTubers out there, this is Legit Wolf bringing you the first ever video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll cover LimeWire and getting songs from LimeWire to iTunes to go onto your iPod. So I'd first like to state that LimeWire is not illegal. Um, I bought mine for 30 bucks, and if you get yours for free, well, then that's obviously illegal. So, today we'll be working with LimeWire, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to take songs, we're going to download them, and then we're going to take them to iTunes for the uh, documents, and then we'll save them to the um, library, and then what we'll do is we'll sync the iPod, so the songs will actually go on the iPod. And all the songs are free, but the program itself does cause... You know, it's not free, but, you know, it's still legal and stuff, so. Alright, so LimeWire Pro, this is the program I use. Um, it doesn't cause viruses, but I do recommend using a virus scan before you actually download the program itself. But if you have any questions or comments, you know, message me or whatever. But, alright. So, well, let's open up LimeWire here. It takes about five seconds to open. But I got mine for like 2008 for 30 bucks, and it works great. It's very fast. Um, it'll give you tips and stuff, but you can just close this. Um, all right. So for you to find a song, you make you want to make sure that you have a decent connection. Otherwise, it won't find any songs for you. But all right, all right. So it gives you all these options here. Now, if you want to find a song, you want to go to audio. All right. Now, you if you want to be very specific, you want to type in the title and the artist. I'll just type in the artist, and let's say my favorite band is Linkin Park. So let me type in Linkin Park. Okay, so I typed in Linkin Park, but I don't know what song I want. But I'm just going to use the artist's name instead. And for it to find songs, make sure the file is connected. If the connect is gray it, and you can't click on it, that means it is connected. But if you click dis disconnect, then it won't find anything for you. So make sure it's connected. So alright you don't need more search options it really doesn't matter alright so search and I'll just pick a random song and then since it goes by alphabetical order and the administrator's documents I will bring it to the iTunes and I will sync it so okay so it gives us a list of options here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a random song it really doesn't matter I'm just gonna do paper cut alright so alright the time alright if there's a lot of people downloading it then it's gonna take a very long time but you know if the, if there's like a minimum people downloading it then it won't take you know forever but you just wanna wait a few seconds but like, yeah, like I said um if there's a lot of people downloading it then it's gonna take a lot of time yeah but sometimes there's gonna be you know few people downloading it and the song will download way faster so I just want to make that clear so once it's done downloading it'll verify it and then alright now it's in your iTunes administrators um, documents where all the songs are saved but alright now we're gonna go to iTunes alright now for this to work you need to make sure you have your sync wire plugged in you need your iPod sync wire. It should have come with your iPod. Um, uh, the iPod sync wire plugs into your USB port in your computer. Um, you need to have it plugged in because it's not wireless and you have to make sure it's fully plugged in for this to work. So to verify it, go to file and make sure this option is available. Sync songs on administrator's iPod. Make sure that option is clickable. Now go, since we've just downloaded the song, you want to go to add file to library. Now, if you don't, if this doesn't come up, you want to go to saved. You want to go to documents, and then you want to go to saved, and then you want to click on LimeWire. I already have mine open, so all right. Since it's alphabetical, we'll, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the L since it's Lincoln Park. But you may use a different song, so it may be different for you. But okay. All right. So paper cut. There it is. Double click that. All right. So it's not on your iPod yet. Now, now we need to uh, sync it, and then once we sync it, it'll go onto your iPod. So, go to File, and like I said, you need to have your sync wire plugged in, otherwise it won't work. So, sync songs on administrator's iPod. Now, click that, and give it a moment, and don't unplug anything, otherwise it won't work. So, all right, now then it'll say iPod sync is complete. And once it says that, the song goes onto your iPod. So, um, just to double check it, go to your iPod and see if the song's on. 
If it's not, then you did something wrong, but alright, that's basically it for this tutorial. I'll make another one about album artwork, so if you have any questions or comments, please message me, and remember to subscribe.